sorry, boy. Not this time. Is this any way to treat a guest? Okay. I'm severely creeped out. Bravo. No mortal has ever made it to Tartarus before. <laughs> Alive, that is. <laughs> Make yourself at home. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nice place you got here. Like it? I'm planning on doing the whole world this way. Wow. That's a good plan. Well, I see you're busy, so listen, we'll just take the book of peace and get out of your way. <laughs> what makes you think I have it? Uh, well, you framed me for the theft, so they would execute me. You? Yeah. No. Proteus, you knew he would take my place. <laughs> what clever little man you are. You thought I'd run. Then Proteus would die and Syracuse would be left, left without the next rightful king and tumble into glorious chaos. You humans are so predictable. Proteus couldn't help being ever so noble, and you couldn't help betraying him. But I didn't betray Proteus. I didn't run away. Oh, but you did betray him. You stole his only love. Look at her, Sinbad. <clears throat> He's not even in his grave yet. And you're moving in on his girl. Face it. Your heart is as black as mine. You're wrong about him. He knows I'm not. You don't know what's in his heart. Oh, yes, I do. And more importantly, so does he. In your heart, you know that Proteus is going to die because he saw something in you that just isn't no. You want to bet? I'll tell you what. Let's play a game. And if you win, I'll give you the Book of Peace. There it is, noble hero. Not so fast. My game has rules, Sinbad. I'll ask you a question. One simple question. If you answer truthfully, the book is yours. Give me your word. <sighs> you still don't trust me. Uh, no. Isn't it a pity we live in such skeptical times? Oh, all right. You have my word as a goddess. Fair enough? Ask your question. Excellent. Now, we all know what happens if you get the Book of Peace. You return it to Syracuse and save Proteus. But if you don't get the book, you have a choice to make. Either sail to paradise with the woman of your dreams, or return to Syracuse to die. You're either a thief or a hero. So here's my question, Sinbad. If you don't get the book, will you go back to die? I will go back. You're lying. I'm sorry, Marina. Eris is right about me. No, she's not. You answered her question. You told the truth. It wasn't the truth. It was me trying to pass myself off as someone I'm not. Sinbad, I've seen who you are. You don't need to pretend. Eris trapped you. Why should you or Proteus or anyone have to die? Marina. No! You need to escape. Get as far away as you can. I'll go back. I'll explain everything. No, Marina. <laughs> I can't watch you die. Could you love a man who would run away? I bet you thought I wouldn't make it. I was beginning to wonder. The book. I did my best. It wasn't enough. No. You came back anyway. How could I do anything else? My friend. Get back! How dare you! Everything was going perfectly. And now... You do this! Eris! I don't understand. Don't! Play coy with me. Maybe you can fool these people. But I know who you are. You're a selfish, 
unprincipled liar. Wait a minute. I didn't lie. I came back. That's why you're here. This was all part of your test. I told the truth. And wasn't there something about being bound for all eternity? Well, well, well. This has got to be a little embarrassing for you, Eris. <laughs> Don't push your luck, Sinbad. You're cute. But not that cute. And lucky for you, I've got places to go. Things to destroy. Stuff to steal. <laughs> you know, for what it's worth, I think the council believes you now. You think? King Dimas. Uh, oh, hey. How much you got on you? I offer you the gratitude of the Twelve Cities and the apology of a king. <laughs> no, really, how much? Sinbad. <laughs> Come on, this is gonna be a heck of a party. Everyone's gonna want to hear about the voyage. Fair winds, calm seas. Nothing much to tell. What's the matter? No fun if you're actually invited? No, it's just, uh, there's a hammock in Fiji with my name on it. Good sailing, Sinbad. Get a haircut. You're gonna be king someday. Just another uneventful day in Syracuse. <laughs> you know, I stood here with a woman once. She looked over the ocean and wished she could sail beyond the horizon. She saw such wonder. And what happened to this woman? She got her chance. She sailed the seas. And she fell in love. <sighs> Pretty as I... Marina. Follow your heart. Mine is here in Syracuse. Yours? Yours is sailing with the next tide. Captain. Hmm? We're ready to sail. All right, Kale. Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain. Cast off! Oh, rat! Log! Excuse me, Captain. You need to replace these rig joints pretty soon. The mizzen ropes need the support. These joints were from the Jasmine Sea. That's halfway around the world. Then we better get started. Well, you know, that means going through the Hydra's lair, mm -hmm. the Minotaur's haven, mm -hmm. the Cyclops' den, mm -hmm. under the Swan Sea Bridge, mm -hmm. through the China Seas. That's a very long voyage, and it's very, very dangerous. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>